So guys, we have a DLC day here. It is the Cutting Stunts DLC. We've been waiting for this hype for a long time, and I told you guys I was going to buy some carbs because I've been buying carbs for you. I got the Entity, I've got the X80, I got the Osiris, I got the Dubachi, which I just sold a minute ago. I got the Massacre, and I bought the Stupid Reaper and the FMJ, which used to be right there, and the Zinterno and the Turismo I bought a long time ago, and yada yada yada. But today we noticed that there's quite a few new cars here. There is the Emperor 1.995. There is the Trojan Tyrus. Ooh, for 2.55 and the Anis RE. I know the Progen is uh, just a tick more, but I'm not quite sure. Let's look at these really quick. So you have the Debonair livery and the Fukaru livery, which is that blue and yellow, which is, that's nice. That's nice. All right, that might have done it for me. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up the Progen Tyrus. That's what I'm going to get, the Progen Tyrus. And we're going to get the Fukuru livery because I really like that blue and yellow car color right there so go ahead and order that i have it delivered to this apartment right here this apartment right here so guys we just spent 2.55 million dollars we're gonna go ahead and wait inside of the upstairs here so right now along with you uh i am sitting here and i'm wondering will they allow us to go in and modify this supercar did i just buy a tank or a fancy helicopter or something like that will i be able to take it to benny's will i be able to take it to los santos custom or will it always be that blue and yellow color hopefully i could take it to benny's and interact with delivery on it that would be so nice if i could do that at the very least take it to the pay and spray the call oh. back later you heard Turns out a mechanic cannot deliver a car inside my apartment. Waiting is the hardest part. You guys even remember this room? My car has been delivered. My Tyrus has been confirmed. has been delivered by Garage Integrity Way 28. So we go through the wood door and we come out of the metal elevator. If that makes any sense to you guys. Barely makes any sense to me, but whatever. And there, oh, there she is. That is pretty. Look at that. It already looks like my Osiris, basically. It looks like my Osiris, but beefed up. Even though it's a Progen instead of a Pegasi, which would be the Osiris, but just the body type alone. I mean, look, do you see the similarities with these things side by side? It's like someone stretched the butt out and put a little bit of a paint job on it, but we're going to take this out. All right, so we have answered the question. It allows us to take the Progen inside of Los Santos Customs. That is excellent news, excellent news. First thing, repair the vehicle. Armor, I'm going to get just the first basic armor, just so people don't blow me up with a couple bullets, but let's go on. Uh, brakes, stock brakes apparently are on sale. Uh, so our street brakes, sport, and race. But I'm going to get myself the race brakes because race brakes are so important to a, uh, a, a game. Be able to stop and get out again real fast is perfect. So the engine upgrades, there is uh, four levels. So we're going to go to the fourth level, of course. It's kind of pointless not to so we can get those acceleration and the top speeds just maxed out. So the exhaust. Uh, stock exhaust looks like it's just um, two dual uh, basic, basic tipped uh, exhaust ports. The oval exhaust are two oval ports. Those look kind of nice. The race exhaust is kind of oval with a little bit of blue glow to it, and the chrome tip looks almost like the stock. So I'm going to go with the ovals. Actually, no. Let's go with the race exhaust. It's got a little bit of color to it, and I think that's nice. Uh, don't worry about explosives. The horn? We're going to go with the Liberty City Loop. I like that one, I think, the most out of all of them. <gasps> oh, okay. Oh, there's just the two liveries. The just as you switch the liveries. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, loss prevention on the plates. Uh, I always go with the black and yellow plate. Even though this car is kind of blue and yellow, I'm still going to black and yellow because in California, black and yellow is the car's color for uh, cars that existed before the 70s, which are a lot of the the, um, the classic cars. So uh, here we go, respray. There's just a primary color respray, but you know what? I'm glad they gave us something. And that is this main blue color that you see on it right now. So with the yellow down the middle, which that's kind of strange that we're locked into yellow no matter what everything else goes on, we do have this outside. And I'm going to go with this. I'm going with hot pink, and then we're going to put a nice kind of an orangish uh, hue over it. Ooh, you know what? That do yellow does some kind of neat things to it also. You see that? That's kind of neat. You know what? Let's not settle on the pink right away. Let's look around a little bit. There's that peach, which is kind of nice. That orange. Ooh, that's a good orange. Look at that. Look at that. These are dope. There's the green colors. So I imagine that yellow looks really good with the lime green. Let's see. Yeah, you see. Look how good those two look together. That's nice also. Um, midnight blue, the dark blues. The blues are good, but it's kind of weird with the yellow. So let's keep on looking, though. Let's keep on looking at these colors. That sienna brown is nice. Those browns are good when you put reds over them. In fact, um, let's experiment with that real quick. Yeah, you see? You see how good that brown looks with a little red over it? Gets a good shine to it. We're not going to stick with that one. That was just kind of experiment. Yeah, yeah, that's what we're going to do, guys. We're going to go with the pink one. 
We're going to go with the pink one. I'm sorry if it offends anybody's uh, sensibilities, but I really like the way the pink looks. We're going to go with the pink, and we're going to go with a little bit of an orange over it, because orange is somewhere right between the red and the yellow, and it kind of helps meld the two colors together, at least in my opinion it does. You know, everyone's got their own opinions, of course. So now sell. I'm just kidding. We're not going to sell it. So the stock spoiler, if you look, it's got uh, a little bit of logo on it. It's got Long Bank. Then there's the Extreme Downforce GT, which is uh, it's just a black one with double, double fins on it, triple fins on it. And then there's the Enhanced GT. And you know what, with most cars, I don't want to get the biggest one, but this car is ridiculous, so we're going to go with the biggest one. Even though the stock spoiler has some color to it, we're going to go with... Ah, you know what, that stock looks so good, though, with the color. Ah, game, you're killing me. You're killing me, game. Alright, so suspension, uh, the lower you go, the better grip and stuff it's supposed to get. But I don't like going all the way down, because sometimes when you go all the way down, uh, you kind of start bumping into things in the road. So I'm going to go with just street suspension, the third one. The turbo... There's none and turbo tuning. So we're going to go with the turbo tuning right there. Uh, wheels. There is the wheel type. Um, we're going to go with the tuners. You know, I've been making a mistake on my old ones, and people pointed out I was getting the high ends, and I was supposed to get the tuners the whole time. So if you've been watching my videos and getting them based on that, switch over to the tuners. They get a little bit of better grip than the other cars. I, uh, I must apologize right now for that mistake. But, I mean, you know, I can either pretend it didn't happen or own up to it, and hopefully you guys can kind of direct the situation. But let's keep it going. Uh, these tires are nice. The candy red. Ooh, that pink is good. That pink is good. Yeah, this is. It looks like chewing gum, and I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. I know, I know there's a few of you out there going, "That's so ugly," and it's like you know, that's a little bit of the point. So sometimes, if you have this many colors on it, let's make it stand out, but still kind of make them work together a little bit. So um, we're gonna choose like an orange or red, because it seems to kind of match what's going on with the rest of this thing. Let's go with that candy red, and the tires, uh, tire designs, custom tires, of course. Uh, we're going to get the bulletproof tires, of course. Oh, is the Patriot smoke gone? Oh, the Patriot smoke is gone. So with something like this, we're going to get the orange smoke. The orange smoke comes out really, really thick looking. And so uh, it gets like, like a really big cloud, and it's just kind of nice. Uh, windows, there's the light smoke, the dark smoke, and the limo. Uh, although uh, everyone else likes the limo because it looks cool, I like to do YouTube videos, so I want the camera to see my face. So I'm going to stick with none. Just, you know, it's a personal thing. And there we go, guys. We got the brand new car here. What do you think? What do you think? Let's exit. Let's get out of this garage. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is ugly and nice and pretty. It looks like chewing gum mixed with a phone from the 80s. It looks like the band Poison threw up all over it. It looks like an Easter egg came to life as a car. So let's see how fast this pitch goes. All right. Burning down the street. It's got really good acceleration. It feels like it's still getting to its top speed. Dare I say these might be the new fastest cars in the game. I'm not sure, but it kind of starting to feel a little bit like it. It feels like the game's having a hard time rendering distances based on how fast it's going, in fact. You see what I'm saying? Oh my god, this thing hauls ass. The game is having a hard time rendering... Look at that. It's moving faster than the game can render. Okay. I haven't speed tested these yet, but something tells me these are new fastest cars in the game, almost of a break, game breaking speed. You can see the distances in the game having difficulty rendering as I'm driving the car down the street. That tells me its top speed moves the camera faster than the game can render distances in the distance. It has to mess with the draw distance. Don't stop me, Ron. I'm exposing what happened here. GTA has made a car that goes a little bit too fast for its uh, Xbox Ones to be able to render. I have a standard Xbox One like everyone else, and you see, you see these little glitches and hops. So, uh, yeah, new cars seem to be pretty fast. Seem to be pretty fast. <laughs> All right, there's nothing to render out there but ocean, so I believe it probably eased up on it a little bit. Let's head back to town. Let's head back to town. We're gonna do one last test of this thing. This is no longer a speed test; it's a render test of this car versus the Xbox One's ability to render distances. So. One more last speed test, going back. Uh, if you guys ask me if this is a recommended car to get, um, if you're into very, very fast cars that look awesome, then yes, it is a recommended car to get. So far, I'm enjoying my purchase. I don't know if it's stunts or not. That's a whole other thing. They say these are stunt-ready cars, so we'll see. But uh, it really snakes along here. In fact, it's uh, so responsive that I almost feel like, uh, like I'm afraid to, to turn out of too much, like, uh, too much control, you know? See how fast I hit my brakes there too? 
yeah guys a uh, new car is awesome so thanks for tuning in the video i'm gonna have a uh, dlc for the cutting stunts hype all day today uh the new progen is out there's two other new supercars and uh keep checking my channel uh simply dave's channel unspoken ouch's channel all day because me and the two guys are recording just a shit ton of content today and i'll see you all guys in the next video